Okay, this is the last video about telescoping series. I want to clear up some misconceptions. Not every series that has the form where you have the subtraction is a telescoping series. Don't be deceived. Uh, flip that. Not every telescoping series has this format in the beginning. Okay, here's an example that doesn't have the format with the minus sign. And in the other two examples, examples five and six, they had that format. It doesn't look like this would be a telescoping at all. I would call it a sneaky telescoping. Why, why is this telescoping? It doesn't look like it. The format that we saw in the other examples. So what do you do? Uh, think about if this was an integral and those were x's earlier in the semester we learned how to integrate 3 over x times the quantity of x plus 3 and in doing that we had to break it up partial fraction decompose you thought you were done with it you're never done with it okay it's coming up on the final so it's good review here we go you ready we have the partial fraction decompose and show yeah it, it does have that same format Sneaky telescoping. Okay, so um, it should be some A over N and some B over N plus 3. So you multiply by N plus 3 in the first fraction. You multiply by N in the second fraction. And you compare the numerators. A times N plus 3 and B times N. Add it together. It should give you the original numerator of 3. And there's a little shortcut or cover-up method you can use. Uh, let N equal the thing that's going to be what would make those guys equal to zero, you can solve for one at a time. If n is zero, then you'll know automatically that a is one. If n is negative three, you know automatically that b is negative one. And so then, now it looks like the format that would generate a telescoping series. You might have to do partial fraction decomposition to show that a series actually is telescoping. Also, another misconception is in our other two examples, right away after two terms, cancellation happened. Not in this example. Okay? Uh, when k is 1, we have 1 minus a fourth. When k is 2, a half minus a fifth. No cancellation. When k is 3, a third minus a sixth no cancellation. When k is 4, a fourth minus a seventh. Hey, cancellation? Way back from the first term is a negative one-fourth and this positive one-fourth is here now. Okay, great. It took four terms to get your first cancellation. You're going to need four terms at the end, remember what we're doing. We're adding up the first n terms. It's the nth partial sum. We stop it in. That's just repeating the terms that are in the summation. There's an n minus 1. There's an n minus 2. And we're going to need an n minus 3. Why? The first cancellation took four terms. The last cancellation is going to take the same four terms. It's going to be the same terms in the same position, minus 1 over n and 1 over n. That is the last cancellation. Any counter higher than 4, it's going to cancel. Any counter lower than n is going to cancel. You're not going to write those other terms, though. Minus 1 fifth cancels. Minus 1 sixth cancels. Minus 1 seventh cancels. Um, 1 over n minus 3. 3 and 1 over n minus 2 and 1 over n minus 1, they all cancel. Remember, the number of surviving terms in the beginning must match the number of surviving terms in the end. These guys here never got a chance to cancel. Three surviving terms. Well, we have three surviving terms at the end.
when we go to write out what S sub n is, what we'll have is that S sub n are these three terms from the beginning and the three terms from the end. I definitely highlighted this last one. I don't know what's going on with the computer. Too much CPU power being used, I guess. Collapsing, telescoping. Three terms in the beginning, three terms in the end. Why are we even talking about S sub n? Because if there's a sum, it's the limit as s as n goes to infinity on the s sub n. What happens with those ending terms as n gets large? What happens with minus 1 over n plus 1? Minus 1 over n plus 2? Minus 1 over n plus 2? What happens with those guys? They go to 0. As n goes to infinity, and you're left with the three surviving guys in the beginning. 1 plus a half plus a third, six, six plus three, six, and two, six, all together, 11, six. <laughs> okay, you did it. Telescoping, that wasn't in the right format to begin with. We had the partial fraction decompose, and it took a while to cancel. But it converged, though, because the terms at the end went to zero. Thank you.